Hello and welcome to this Friday website review by Thrive Themes. Today's overarching topic is we're going to take a look at how to take an already good website to the next level with some practical examples. I'm Shane Malach from Thrive Themes and I'll be walking you through today's review website, which is The Little Health Company. So you can find this site at thelittlehealthcompany.com and let's have a look at it right now. Here we see the home page and as we scroll down, we can see it's called a little health company. They sell natural health products. We have some disclaimer about free shipping. Then we have their highlight, their best seller products. And then we have some blog elements and you can see right away, you can see like the overall design here. You know, it has a very clear design language, good choice of colors. Um, it is, it's just a very well put together page. Visually, this works really, really well. We also have this lead generation element that pops up from the bottom uh, that has a slight delay. And yeah, that's a good thing as well. Now we'll look at some more details, but right away, what I want to say is if we, if we look at the different, uh, you know, if we look at different products here and different pages, we can see that in general, this is a well put together site. So we have an about us section with very clear, large typography. We've got products and the product pages look like this. So you can see right away, you know, there's a lot of content here that explains what this is about. It is the layout is well chosen. We have clear guarantee statements. We have reviews. There's a lot of elements here that on many websites that I'd expect to review, or if you've seen some previous Friday website reviews, often there are all kinds of problems uh, and basic problems like, you know, you should have more content on these pages. You should explain what your offer is about and so on. And most of that stuff is already taken care of and already done very well on this website. So this makes it quite interesting. There are some small things that I want to recommend that you can clean up and we're going to go through them very quickly. First off, you could clean up the font mishmash. So if we look at the homepage, for example, right here, we have a font in the logo. We have a different font here in this heading. Then we have another different font in the subheading and another different font on the button. And that's a bit too much. And it's a bit of a mess stylistically. I have to say though, you know, if, if any combination of four different fonts, this isn't a bad combination. It could be a lot worse, but still, I think if you reduce that, for example, if you chose just one handwritten style font and use it in both places, that would be better. Um, and just like reduce the font mishmash. That's one design thing you can do quite easily to make this look a bit tidier. Another thing that's an issue that I see on many sites is the top level links. So these top, the top level link products here goes nowhere. This isn't actually a link. If I click on it, nothing happens. And the same is true for this healthy teas and the natural oils link. So I have to go into a second level here to actually get a clickable link. And that's not very nice, especially with only four items. You could easily just have them in a drop down, or you could just link to a product page that has an overview of those four items. The next thing I noticed is that on the home page we have these top selling products and not a lot here is clickable, right? I have to click on this tiny button here to actually get to the page for this product. And it would make sense to have a clickable title and a clickable image here um, just to make that easier for people to find the thing that they want. Next up, more product images. So if we look at an individual product like this one, here we have only one image in this case and there are some other examples. Let's see if we go to one of these oils here. Here it's also only one image. I think I saw some examples where it's maybe two images or something and it's nice to have a high resolution image, but keep this in mind. People, before they buy something, we like to turn things around in our hands. We like to poke it. We like to kick the tires and online we can't do that. And a good substitute or the best substitute for it is to have many images of different angles and just make it easier for people to get this impression of almost, you know, picking something up and turning it around in their hands. So those are some small potential improvements, but here's an important distinction I want to make. It's between a website that is weighed down by all these small issues. And we've seen some of these websites in previous Friday website reviews where the website, the business is dying a death of a thousand cuts because there are just so many small issues on the site that in the end, you really don't want to use it. This is very different from having a good site with some small issues. And the main difference is that making these small changes that I suggested 
will be good, but it's not going to be the most important or the primary thing that will drive your business forward. It's not going to take your business to the next level to fix the font issues and make the images clickable. So what should you do instead? Here's my suggestion. You should ask yourself, what is a big marketing push you can create? So where's the greatest leverage point right now that will help you bring in more business? Here are some possible suggestions. I can't know this. I can't know this for your business without knowing more about it. But here are some ideas that came to my head as I was looking through this website. So an option would be to list more products. Right now, I think it's only four products here. So if you're starting to get traction, if people like your products, one great way to increase business is to add more products to just give people more opportunities to give you money essentially and also maybe create some upsell chains and bundle offers so if someone says yes i want to buy this tea detox thing on the checkout page or on the page you see after you add something to your cart it might say by the way if you get this plus these other products you can get a special bundle price or people who bought this also buy that and so on so give people more opportunities to buy more products. That would be something that could lead to a great increase in business. Another idea is to focus on lead generation and follow-up. Possibly this would be a big leverage point where you could set up lead generation so that you turn more visitors into subscribers, get them on a newsletter, and then have a follow-up process that markets to them, that explains your products, that explains maybe what your business is about and so on, and give yourself a chance to turn more of these people into return visitors and into return customers. Another option could be content and social marketing, like put a big push into content marketing and social marketing, find ways to create some of the best content in this market and really work on, you know, outreach and so on to get the word out to make sure that a lot of people learn about this content, spread it over social media and see if you can get a, a big traffic increase and then also a sales increase through your content. Another option would be to invest in pay-per-click marketing. So start running ads on Facebook, start running ads on Google, start retargeting people and bringing them back. And again, this is something where all of these points are potential points where if you invest enough, and these are certainly not like small changes like fixing a font on a website, this is something where you have to start a campaign, come up with a strategy, and then spend some time and some money on making this happen. But you have to look at your market, you have to look at your existing customers and, and ask yourself where can I get the potentially highest return on investment of my money and my time and really make it a big marketing push? So I hope you can clearly see the difference here between the idea of fixing small issues on a website because it's just totally weighed down by small issues, which is something that in many cases you desperately need to do that first. But there's a difference between that and really figuring out, okay, the website is good enough now and figuring out what's my next step. How can I really get a ton of more business for my business? So I hope this video and this example helps you think about your website in those terms, figure out which stage you are personally in and then move ahead with the right strategy. I hope you enjoyed this Friday website review and got a lot of value out of it. If you have any questions about anything I talked about, please leave a comment below and I'll be happy to reply. And as always, if you enjoy the Friday website reviews, please share them on social media, tell your friends about them and so on, because the more attention we get, the more people learn about this, the more people can benefit from them and the more of these episodes we can make.